Tupac, I knew Tupac real good, man. Tupac, I knew his heart. Dude, love kids for one. He just, that's how I am. My nigga Tupac Shakur come to my video shoot. I practice looking hard. Him and his whole entourage. He come through modulate all day and night. Every time I catch this man, he in Washington, <laughs> uh, New York, uh, Chicago, L.A., you know what I'm saying? So I tell him it's all good now. But well, we had the little shoot of the uh, practice looking hard, you know what I'm saying? We finna do this little thing, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We finna blow up, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, the real way. It ain't even out yet, but we got a lot of pre-orders jumping off and whatnot. I'm kicking with my nigga Pac and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? We in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know it's we that chill. fat shit. We cannot tell a lie. I would not have come all the way out here from Los Angeles to sit down with this man for no fake bunk shit. This shit got to yeah. be fat. I mean, he cool and everything, but the track is fat. <laughs> That was just like one of the beginnings of our love. We had talked previously on the phone and shit, you know, because he stayed in the traffic. Let me show y'all how to roll a blunt. Break it down, right? Split it with your fingernails. Don't use a knife. Don't use a razor blade. Split it with your fingernails. Break it down with your fingers. You got to keep it all natural, right? Once you get it all broke down like that, there, right? Get it all in there, right? Use your fingers. Is like this and you got to roll it. You can't just fold it. That's why they got sloppy blunt. You got to roll it like you roll a little joint, you know? You put your finger up like that, close it off at the points. We got us a blunt. It's there. All you got to do now is lick it. Now this is the important part. You don't want to drown it. You just want to lick it. Look. Hmm? When I close this, it's going to be a blunt. Check it. Bust it. Uh. You got us a fat ass blunt right here. It's all good. How you like that? I just taught y'all how to roll a blunt. Now y'all take it to the next nigga and teach him how to roll one. If I see y'all smoking that white shit, I'm gonna be hot. Smoke brown, black for black. And so from then on, it was just unity. You know, we was he was on all my albums except for the last one, which was Element of Surprise. You dig? This is just like, you know, these white folks just can't believe a motherfucker can just network and niggas could just on the underground tip just come up and be millionaires. But we're going to show them with this shit. We're going to just show them, going to blow up in their face. Some old, they you know, try everything in their power to they stop can't stop this shit because ain't no crack in my motherfucking pockets this year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight money and tanks and rhymes and shit. So that shit there, they not ready for it. They ain't got a police force that can counter that yet. So me and E-40 is just like working this shit so they ass can't stun me. Last time I seen him, man, on the rail, though, you understand smell me? He was playing his rumbles, and, I, and he was like, E, let me hear your shit. And I had it, and I was like, 
wanting to play my shit, but some of my sahabs like was mashing on the tape deck. He didn't know that I ever did things and never changed. Tupac never in his life had any idea that I did things and never changed. And I had no idea in my whole life. I, I never thought that he would do the song Changes on the same note. It's a fool. That's how I know we were some together ass motherfuckers. Me and Tupac Shakur, we was together like a booger to a note. That was my motherfucking equalization. And he had love for everybody out here in the area. He had to smell me, so I don't want to hear no bad talk about my dude. I was going to get kind of hot at the head. Please believe me.